फूंदो जी जू शारीरिक कहान ची बायले आयोन मराव ग्रीटिंग्स टू एवरी वन माई नेम इज मॉन्ग थिंग न्यू आई एम एन इंडिजिनियस पर्सन फ्रॉम द चिलेगो हिल ट्रैक्स ऑफ बांग्लादेश I share greeting with you in five indigenous languages and this place is a home of 14 indigenous communities with distinct languages and cultures. One of my earliest memories growing up was when my mom used to set me on her lap and introduce me to indigenous alphabets. I fell in love with learning and so when she told me that i would go to school i was very excited um in one cold january morning she took me to the mountain path and it was school so when uh, the bell rang we sat in the class and the teacher started speaking i couldn't understand a word because he was speaking in bangla and after a while he called my name I stood up and I couldn't say anything. So he gestured me to come forward and open my palm. And when I opened my palm, a cane came down. He gestured for the left palm, which I did, and cane came down. Two more times like this. That day, I went home crying all the way. And I told my mom, I don't want to go to school anymore. She said, no, you have to go to school. So the following morning, when she prepared breakfast, asked me to eat, I could not. And she told me later, she observed from a distance that my head was down and tears are falling drop by drop on the food. She took pity on me and she says, you don't have to go to school today. I didn't go to school that day, next day, next week next month or next year i dropped out on the first day of the first grade my mom homeschooled me for the next 3 years and during those times whenever she said we would go to visit our grandmas i was very happy because our grandma tell me many stories and my mom asked me to write it down fast forward many years i had the opportunity to come to a magical place called hawaii and few years later i went to harvard education has been passport to my life few years later when i went back home to see my ailing mother it was sad to see many indigenous children still drop out from school and i met a little boy ong si 7 years old shy aloof and alone i don't know what you do when you are 7 years old maybe coloring picture books in a classroom or playing house in your backyard for ong si in a stir of carrying books he carried bricks in a stir of playing house he cleans house for 35 cents a day i thought this is injustice i had a second chance in life and he deserves one too so i work with the communities we build school for children like ong sing and then we started a oral story project our children interview their grandmothers and village elders and come and share their stories in the classroom and sometime with impromptu applause and delight of their classmates and then we take those stories and we publish beautifully illustrated multilingual multicultural children's books and as an educator we design education programs for them and over the last few years we realized that the children's books foster a love of learning so with our limited capacities we publish over 24000 books and distributed to children who never had a children's book in their whole life and later we have collected 300 unique stories 
and we plan to publish and distribute 300,000 children's books in the next few years. Now, you may not have atrocities or experiences like Aung San, but we all know how it feels like sometimes powerless, or sometimes the odds are stacked against us. Whether you are fighting for climate, or whether you are fighting for gender equity, or you are fighting for LGBTQ right, in those darkest hours, someone somewhere opens your eyes and gives glimpses of hope. Education for these indigenous children open up their eyes and gives them hope. If you believe, as I do, a child doesn't have to grow up in the same darkness she or he was born, and it is better to light a candle than curse the darkness, I urge you to join me and us to create more educational opportunities for indigenous children. In the CGI, we met here our collective goal. If it is to help those who are inflicted by injustice and give hope to those people and the places where there is little to no hope, let's be true to this cause. Aung San wants to be a teacher someday. And we can send a message of hope that he is not alone. Children like him or her are not alone. They matter. Their communities matter. Their stories matter. And we believe in them. And we support them. And Aung San can be indeed a teacher and support his, his communities. Thank you to everyone at CGI, and thank you to all of you.